Exclusive Contract from Feilu Novel Network Novel Zong Meng I am desperately developing my daily life in the time travel series also known as Man Crosses Fan, opening with Akuya, my protagonist's halo is over a billion points traveling through the world of fan anime, at the beginning, obtain a wild goddess Akuya and an infinite body of energy, as well as a universal farming tool. Infinite blue plus strongest throwing skill plus lucky full level 100 strikes and 100 hits plus upgradable skill equals invincible. What? Can you still plunder the protagonist aura of other time traveling fans? Watching the Kinis, Hui Hui, Yu, Xiangji, Yen, Jingjiang. All become villagers of their own Dashu village. The divine Shiyu demon king said solemnly to the warriors who were fighting against him. I don't produce girls, I'm just a porter for girls. Crossing Fan Comics plus Sand Sculpture plus Harem plus Funny Daily, Felu Novel Network reminds you that this novel and its characters are purely fictional. If there are any similarities, they are purely coincidental and should not be imitated. Adhere to originality and eliminate non-compliant commitment letters. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Adhere to originality and eliminate non-compliant commitment letters I, pen name, Flying Sand Sculpture, guarantee that this signed work belongs to my own original creation, and strictly follow the Feilu writer's convention in the creative process, adhere to originality, and eliminate the following violations. If there are any violations, I am willing to bear all consequences arising from this one, ensure that the signed work belongs to one's own original work and does not involve plagiarism or plot plagiarism in Chinese translation Two, ensure that no third-party works or plot are plagiarized during the creative process 3. Ensure that this work is first published and the only contracted website on Feilu Novel Network 3. Ensure compliance with laws and regulations during the creative process. Including but not limited to, violations such as not involving politics, not involving pornography, gambling, drugs, promoting cults, not ghostwriting, not blocking or abolishing manuscripts, not hosting, not selling works or accounts, etc. 4. Ensure that regardless of the word count of the work, the signed work must complete the plot, never end, and never stop or end Fei Lu's novel. Fei wants you to look good. Kashuagi Shirasaki you are listening at NovelFull.audio. As shown in the figure. Chapter 20. Negative comes positive, chemical reactions resulting from the fusion of two daily forms. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Don't be fooled by the fact that the main characters are all so coquettish, but all of them are those flower-shaped mouths, and when they really suffer, they look like quails one by one. In the ending of the original novel, the protagonist and the true demon king were still a virgin. And sure you naturally wouldn't squat in the same useless family as he Zhen, as he inherited the protagonist template of a leisure farmhouse in a different world and already has unlimited energy. If we don't start a football team in a year, it's all due to good contraceptive measures. You should know that by the end of the first volume of Leisure Farmhouse in the Other World, the children had already come out. At this moment, Hui Hui's face turned red like a boiling teapot, and her whole body was steaming. If it weren't for today's burst magic that caused her to still be unable to run, she would probably have wanted to find a crack in the ground to crawl in. Akuya looked at Shiryu with a disdainful expression and said, You despicable lolitan. Shiryu gave her an expressionless glance, I see you owe a lesson again. At this moment, Chris hurriedly tried to make a comeback. Well, let's talk about learning skills. Do you think you want to learn the skills of thieves? Sure you nodded and said, now I only have six skill points, so it's better for thieves' skills to be more cost.effective. Chris nodded in agreement and said. If there are only six points, I suggest learning the five skills of theft, binding, enemy perception, lurking, and thousand mile eyes. Among them, Thousand Mile Eye requires two skill points, while the rest only require one. Sure you nodded at the words and said, sure, just demonstrate it once. Chris nodded and then demonstrated a few skills to sure you, thief. A thief type skill that randomly steals an item from an opponent, with a success rate affected by luck and the level difference between the two sides. 
Binding. Thief type skill that uses pre-prepared ropes to bind the opponent. The time of confinement is limited by the strength of the rope and the strength of the bound person. Enemy perception. A thief type skill that senses targets within a certain range that are hostile to oneself and serves as a warning. Undercover. Thief type skill that reduces presence and makes oneself less likely to be detected. Thousand Mile Eye. Thief type skill that enhances vision and provides night vision ability for infrared imaging. You can see hidden traps. After the demonstration, Chris did indeed have learning options for these five skills on her adventure card. Sure you chose to study without hesitation, immediately, he felt a mysterious force reshaping his body from the genetic level. In an instant, he had already mastered these five skills, as if eating and drinking water were as simple as that. Sure you turned his head and looked deep into the forest, as expected, my career scope has become extremely broad, and I can clearly see some subtle poisonous insects, snakes, and ants deep in the dense forest. Sure you opened his hand and his face was filled with joy, I finally have superpowers myself. No, it should be said to be magic. You should know that the protagonist template of Leisure Farmhouse in the other world only endows oneself with a healthy body and enough energy to use the divine gun without restriction. But in reality, his body has no magical power that the indigenous people of the other world possess. Even the most basic magic universe cannot be released. And the rules of the world in Blessing a Better World have successfully filled the gap of Shiryu. The shortcomings of the protagonists in both worlds are very obvious, the protagonist of Leisure Farmhouse in the other world, Wolo, cannot possess strong strength, and all his strength is concentrated on the universal farming tool in his hand. The protagonist of Blessing a Better World and Heijen are extremely talented. He relies on the experience and wisdom of a seasoned gamer, as well as his extraordinary luck, to constantly conquer powerful bosses from beginning to end. In other words, his attack power is weak. Now that the two worlds have merged, Shiryu feels like a game novice holding a level less artifact. He can quickly become stronger without restraint by brushing wild monsters. The original two daily protagonists with great flaws now perfectly blend together, and now Shiryu has a golden finger that is no less than that of any time-traveling protagonist. And now there is only one concern left, Shiryu stood up and conjured up a divine gun in his hand, which was a universal agricultural tool. Kianlian locked onto a wild boar on the outskirts of the death forest. Let's go. Sure you let out a low shout, the divine gun in hand flew over like a laser-guided missile. With a loud bang, a large forest was blasted into a huge pit. Hui Hui, along with Viz and Chris, looked at the bare passage that had been plowed out with a frightened expression on their faces. Hui Hui. What kind of magic is this, this, this? Viz, this adult strength is even stronger than that of Lord Akuya. Chris. Divine power. You're using divine power. Only Akuya, who had long known the strength of Shiryu, was persuading Dakinis, who was holding on to the Hara, to. Impossible, this kind of attack, even you will be instantly wiped out. This thing has power beyond the bug level of 100. Only the divine power of their goddesses and the demonic power of hell can compete with them. At this moment, Sure you did not pay attention to Akuya and their reaction, he nervously took out his adventure card. It vividly records. Conquer the demon spike wild boar, level 50, asterisk 7. Sure you laughed when he saw this place, the rules of the two worlds have indeed merged. Even if you kill the monsters in Leisure Farmhouse in the other world, yourself, you will still enjoy the bonus brought by the adventure card. The moment of my true rise has arrived. Three things to do when reading. Read, collect, and reward. Chapter 16 The Undead King You are listening at NovelFull.audio Shiryu's monster-snatching behavior made Akuya angrily grab his neck and shake it around, but Shiryu happily took out his own adventure card. The level above has been changed to level 3. The attributes have also slightly improved, 
but soon Shu Yu's eyebrows furrowed, his various attribute values have only increased by three points, and his overall strength enhancement has not even reached one dot third. What's going on? Didn't it mean upgrading and doubling? Shu Yu frowned and doubled as he watched the adventure card. He used to think that every time he upgraded his attributes, he would multiply by two, but now it seems he's overthinking it. It is also possible that one's physical strength is high, and the increase in attribute values is not significant, anyway, sure you did not feel any significant changes in his body, just like Hijen. The skill points have also increased to 6, which means that sure you can now learn the skills. However, adventurer professions do not have their own exclusive skills, and in order to learn successfully, other professions must be taught. Sure you glanced at Hui Hui, who was staring at her eyes shining brightly, and then shook her head, this guy's explosive magic learning requires 200 points, and a normal person may not accumulate enough skills for 10 years. The Lich King Viz, who now possesses experience and skills, is not yet in Axel City. Otherwise, sure you would have caught her and taken her to brush skill points. Sure you peeled Akuya off her body and said. Alright, come on, let's go back to Axel first, and then we're ready to go back to Death Forest for the winter. Akuya. Woo 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 my experience points. You snatch my wild monster. Sure you rolled his eyes upon hearing this. The experience of undead is already very limited, and your skill is still purification, so it won't leave too many soul fragments. It's a waste to brush it for you. When registering as an adventurer, the little sister once said, there are souls hidden within various things in this world. The adventurer's upgrade also involves consuming or killing a creature, which means that if they suspend certain life activities, they can absorb the memory fragments of that soul, thereby enhancing their strength. Akuya's purification is more like transcendence, the undead who died in her hands had no experience bonus at all, which is why she crazily purified and eliminated spirits in anime, but her level was still similar to that of True and others. So sending undead monsters to Akuya to fight is a complete waste. Due to their lack of strength to deal with those undead monsters, they had to hand them over to Akuya for purification. Nowadays, with the existence of universal agricultural tools, sure you naturally won't miss this good opportunity to brush experience. The undead. Sure you looked at the undead monsters that had been bombed out and touched their chin. Nowadays, frogs hibernate underground, and it seems good to take advantage of Akuya's spirit-inducing physique to walk a few laps in the cemetery. Thinking of this, Shuryu turned around without hesitation and headed towards the large cemetery near Axel City. A large number of undead will come to settle here every once in a while, making it a sustainable monster spawning point. The villagers of Axel often ask the Lich King Viz stationed in Axel to regularly remove spirits. Of course, everyone thought that Viz was just an ordinary great wizard. Hey! Shiyu, aren't we heading to the Death Forest? Akuya was startled as she watched Little Black and Devil Spider turn around and head towards the cemetery. Without looking back, Shiryudo spoke up and said. First, go brush some experience points. After everyone arrived at a gloomy cemetery, Akuya's hair suddenly exploded. There are undead spirits. And they are also bastards and undead monsters. Dakinis exclaimed excitedly, Where? Where? Where is the powerful monster? Hui Hui covered one of her eyes and shouted. Is it the source of evil sealed in my eyes, liberated? Don't panic, with me, the first wizard of the Red Demon Clan, all you need is a burst magic. Sure you slapped on the back of Hui Hui's head with a loud bang, this is a cemetery. If we blow it up, we'll be wanted, and... Sure you finished speaking and looked towards the center of the cemetery, where a black figure was squatting and constantly exerting undead magic to transcend the undead in the cemetery. King of the Undead Witch of the Lich One of the cadres of the Demon King City, during her lifetime as an adventurer, she was known as a battle maniac or the Witch of Ice. 
I have fought against the demon Duke Bainier multiple times and have not fallen behind in battles against multiple demonic army cadres. In the world of, blessing a better world, he is definitely a leader on the front line of combat power. But after becoming a witch, his personality changed greatly, becoming very gentle and obedient. Otherwise, even if Akuya is a goddess, she cannot easily suppress her, after all, her major magic is ice magic, and even Huehue's burst magic is strong. The biggest purpose of Shur Yu's visit to Axel City this time happened to be to find this naturally naive Lich King. Shur Yu laughed as he looked at Vistan, who was somewhat panicked. Breaking through iron shoes has nowhere to find, it takes no effort to get it. Fei Lu's novel, Fei wants you to look good. Chapter 22 Card Bugs, Brushing Skill Points You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Instantly move. A purple magic circle emerged from the feet of everyone, and a purple light slowly decomposed their figures. Next second, everyone has appeared in the magic shop of Wizzy in Axel City. Oh. Not bad, this is space teleportation. Everyone looked around and it was indeed a familiar scene. Everyone turned their heads together and asked Shuryu. How's it going? Shuryu took out his adventurer card and glanced at it twice, nodding. Sure, space teleportation can be learned now, but these 50 skill points are really excessive. They can already catch up with Hui Hui's ability to learn burst magic. Wits quickly comforted Shuryu upon seeing the situation. Well, don't say that, after all, Shiyu Da's chosen profession is adventurer. If you choose the great mage, you may already be a powerful superior mage now, right? Each profession has its own exclusive bonus for the skills it belongs to, in addition to being more powerful, the skill points consumed for learning are also relatively discounted, moreover, adventure cards automatically display corresponding professional skills without the need for others to teach them. The only drawback is that exclusive professions cannot master skills beyond their profession. During this period of time in the Death Forest, sure you used Wei's experience to draw a good wave of bugs and got stuck. This was originally a cheat tool used by the protagonist and true talent towards the end of the plot, but now it has been used by Shiryu in advance. Using the level absorption of the undead high dot level which, viz, forced the level of Shiryu to be lowered, and then keep it between level 1 and 25 to reduce the required experience for leveling up and card bugs and skill points. Because if this world drops, the skill points obtained before will not disappear, and the learned skills will still exist. So theoretically, anyone can continuously brush skill points by leveling down and then upgrading. The attacks of high dot level undead with level absorption carry negative spells such as curses, slumber, seal magic, panic, petrification, and even a bunch of terrifying deadly states of undead, so normally, no one can rely on this method to downgrade and brush skill points, in addition, this world is full of demon armies and monsters, the life of a normal adventurer is always at risk. So no one is willing to downgrade and weaken their strength, moreover, as long as one does not use the extremely skill-consuming chicken rib skill of learning explosive magic, so when an adventurer becomes a seasoned adventurer, they have basically gathered all the necessary skills, so few people waste time brushing skill points. But time and space are different, under the bonus of cheating in another world, he has a blue buff that can be called unlimited firepower and can learn all professional skills, the decrease in level has little effect on Shiryu to be honest. Because he can extravagantly activate all active skills 24 hours a day to achieve the goal of improving his strength. For example, the defense of the cross knight has been strengthened, patience has been improved, enemy perception of thieves, and the thousand mile eye. These skills, which were originally only effective when used, can be used 24 hours without fear of magic consumption to offset the strength reduction caused by downgrading. So during this period, he has been relying on Wizzy's level absorption ability to repeatedly downgrade, fight monsters, upgrade, brush skill points, and then downgrade in a boring life. As for the terrifying deathly states of the Lich Demons. Just kidding. Shiryu has almost a full level of luck. 
The probability of petrification, curse, and instant death magic appearing on him is completely zero, and he is not worried that Viz will kill him when absorbing his level. In addition, there is a so dot called talent in this world, the more people are born with a lack of talent, the easier it is for them to level up. Many people have many skill points when logging into the adventure card for the first time, so most people will not lack skill points for career learning. Goddesses like Akuya even fill up all the skills of the high priest at the beginning, and if there are any remaining banquet skills, they are outrageously deadly. However, Shuyu inherited the useless talent of Heijen, and being born with zero skill points also means that Shuyu requires much less experience to upgrade than Akuya and Hui Hui. And this also means that Shuyu's upgrade experience is much lower than other adventurers. Others can only level up by defeating 10 monsters, while Shuyu can easily level up by defeating one. So Shuyu had already learned all the skills in his team in just one month. Including Darkness's Cross Knight, Wee Huey's Burst Magic, as well as Viz's Great Wizard and Lich skills, and Chris's Thief skills, Shuyu has mastered all the skill points through this cheating-like brushing. Of course, besides Akuya's healing magic, this useless goddess cried out not to let Shuryu deprive her of the only value of existence, unwilling to impart any healing magic to Shuryu. It is obvious that she has a clear understanding of herself. Apart from treatment, she is a pure iron waste. And now they appear in Axel City precisely because Shuryu is learning the last superior magic skill of Viz. Instant Movement he has designated the Stronghold of Death Forest as one of the teleportation points. Now, when you come to Axel through Viz, you can freely travel back and forth between Death Forest and Axel. Three things to do when reading. Read, Collect, and Reward. Chapter 11 The Properties of Terror You are listening at NovelFull.audio And at this moment, the service beauty continued to introduce, as long as you hold this card, the experience points absorbed by the adventurer will be displayed on it, and the corresponding level will also be displayed, which is the adventurer's strength standard. The record of how many objects were nested will also be recorded here. As experience points accumulate, various creatures will suddenly grow rapidly one day, which is called crossing the high wall of level improvement. In short, as long as you level up, you can gain various benefits, such as gaining points to learn new skills, etc., so be sure to raise your level. Sure you was taken aback when he heard these introductions. Rapid growth of body. Isn't upgrading in this world where body strength remains unchanged, only increasing skill points. The waiter looked at Sure you with a strange expression and asked, why do you think so? Each level of leveling up will give adventurers bodies various basic attributes such as strength, speed, agility, endurance, energy, etc. Only when their bodies are strong enough can they possibly defeat the demon king, right? Sure you asked with a strange expression on his face. Why doesn't intelligence increase? He remembers in the anime that Akuya once said that intelligence does not increase according to upgrades, and the protagonist at that time, Kazuru, sympathized and watched Akuya for a long time. However, the waiter looked at Shuryu even more strangely. The intellectual attribute represents intelligence, how could this thing possibly increase? If you say the strength of magic, it is linked to energy, which is spiritual power. After hearing this, Shuryu suddenly realized that he had been walking into a cognitive misunderstanding, due to the fact that the use of universal agricultural tools consumes energy, and energy can also ensure physical health, with n times a night, which made sure you take it for granted to link it with physical strength. However, it was only through the settings on the guild side that it was discovered that energy represents spiritual power, which is somewhat similar to the product of a mixture of physical and spiritual energy like chakra, and has nothing to do with intelligence. Just thinking about it, if upgrading can increase intelligence, then it's strange that there are no sand sculpture intellectual disabilities in this world, all of which are geniuses comparable to Einstein. Subsequently, under the guidance of the staff, Shuryu and Akuya filled out their height, weight, age, and other items on the card. As the card is bound, the originally blank information on the card begins to flash. 
the crowd gathered curiously to see how strong the newcomer who had tamed the demon was. But only sure you knew that as the protagonist and true template, his attributes should be quite ordinary, and there was no such thing as amazing potential. I'm just an ordinary person, not really good. Looking. Oh my goodness. Impossible. What damn attribute is this? Before sure you could finish speaking, the guild was filled with shocked screams, sure you frowned, is the attribute value lower than what you imagined? Shouldn't it be? My own body is also a body that has been transformed by the main deity of the idle farming world and is immune to all kinds of diseases. It is absolutely impossible to be worse than the gnawing old tribe and true, right? Is it sure you suddenly turned his head and stared at the adventurer card held in his hand by the working figure? Name. Sure you level. One muscle strength. Ten vitality. Ten flexibility. Ten agility. Ten intelligence. Two fifty lucky value. Ninety nine magic plus infinity sure you's eyebrows furrowed. It's not surprising, but it's only ten o'clock. It should only have the attributes that an ordinary adult possesses. Sure you spoke strangely and asked what are you really surprised about? The staff looked at Sure you excitedly and said. Ten o'clock. You are only at level one now, and ten o'clock is already the upper limit of attributes. If you want to become stronger, you can only continue to upgrade. Sure you was taken aback at the words, staring blankly at the attribute card, does this mean that one's attributes have reached the upper limit of their current level? However, the staff has not finished speaking yet. Every time you upgrade, the attribute value doubles. The stronger the first level attribute, the stronger the attribute benefits obtained after upgrading. A full first level attribute means that you will have the highest power to upgrade and improve in the future. Oh my goodness! I already believe that you can successfully defeat the Demon King. The adventurers around cheered loudly for Shiryu, in their view, Shiryu is definitely the strongest among the brave candidates, because no one has ever had such a high basic attribute before. Based on your parameters, you can freely choose the profession you want, such as the Great Mage, High Priest, Cross Knight, and Swordsmanship Master. All of them are higher dot level professions. The skills of these professions are not only very powerful, but also the skill points spent on learning exclusive professions will correspondingly decrease. Do you think you want to choose what kind of profession? I suggest you choose the Great Mage profession, after all, your IQ is so terrifying, and the magic. She looked at that infinity with some confusion, so was it that the card was broken. What kind of ghost is infinity? It's impossible no matter what you think. At this moment, sure you looked at the career introduction on the card, the superior profession of the most defensive paladin is the cross knight, the most attacking swordsman is the advanced swordsmanship master, the superior profession of the sacrificial high priest, and the superior profession of the widest attacking mage is the great mage. Just one level of oneself is already able to directly switch jobs, while ordinary adventurers probably need to wait until after level 20 to upgrade their attributes before they can switch jobs again, and it can only be a selective job transfer based on the outstanding numerical values of one's own attributes. Is it a great wizard? Sure you looked at the introduction on the card, then shook his head and suddenly smiled. I choose a beginner profession, adventurer. Everyone looked at Shiryu in surprise. What? Three things to do when reading. Read, collect, and reward. Chapter 44, Lord Shiryu, I also want your special training. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Looking at Shiryu's playful smile, Knight Captain Meld showed a skeptical expression. He always feels that this guy doesn't have any good intentions. At this moment, Guanghui stared at Shiryu with a resentful expression on his face, feeling that this group of people was just joining forces to play tricks on him. The powerful sacrifice was chased by the undead, and the knight, whose superior magic was unscathed, pretended not to hit the monster. This is definitely done intentionally to make fun of oneself. And the other classmates also suddenly reacted, they all rushed towards Xiangji, 
Xiangji. Are you a mid-level defense magic genius? How could your protection be so strong? Oh my god, how many levels are you at now? I'm afraid you're much better than Radiance, right? You easily blocked all his ultimate moves. When you fight monsters later, you must look at me. I'm afraid. The girls chattered around Xiangji with envy on their faces, no one expected that Xiangji could block the brilliant ultimate move of the hero. You should know that the attribute of Radiance is far superior to theirs, but at this moment, Kashiwagi easily blocked it, which shocked them who had regained their senses. Xiangji blushed and waved her hands repeatedly. No, no, mainly because Guanghui didn't use all his strength. I'm still at level 5 now. The girls looked at Guanghui with suspicion and said, Really? Yes, really, Xiangji couldn't help but show a hint of pride at the corner of her mouth she even took out her own attribute panel and showed it to everyone, Kashiwagi Shirasaki level. 5 Heavenly Duty Healer Physical Ability Values Strength 27 Physical Strength 27 Resistance 27 Agility 27 Magic 27 Anti-Magic 27 Recovery Magic, plus Effect Increase, plus Recovery Speed Increase, plus Imagination Boost Strength Increase, plus Perception Immersion, plus Range Effect Increase, plus Distance Recovery Effect Increase, plus Abnormal State Recovery Effect Increase, plus Magic Consumption Reduce, plus Magic Efficiency Increase, plus Continuous Launch, plus Multiple Simultaneous Launch, plus Delayed Launch, plus Additional Launch, Light Attribute Adaptability, plus Launch Speed Increase, plus Effect Increase, plus Duration Increase, plus Continuous Launch, plus Multiple Simultaneous Launch, plus Delayed Launch, High Speed Magic Recovery, plus Meditation, Language Understanding Regenerative Magic Soul Magic Sublimation Magic Transforming Magic, Double Swordsmanship, Decomposition Ability, All Attribute Adaptability, and Composite Magic. The crowd looked at the long string of additional attributes on the Xiangji talent panel in confusion. Where did you learn these things from? Xiangji showed a mischievous smile and said with a proud expression. It's all sure you who helped me train. Simply put, it means spending money to increase one's magical adaptability with skill points. Each additional box represents a bottle of elevation potion. Only the unreasonable golden fingers like Shiryu, who can grow magical plants through universal farming tools, can be so wealthy and powerful. Even the perverts of the Red Demon Clan cannot afford to use such luxurious upgrade potions. And sure you just wanted to simply bubble female high school students and study the effect of this thing on other visitors from other worlds. For a moment, all the female classmates who knew the truth looked at Shiryu with bright eyes. With a shout, a group of people gathered around Shiryu, singing and swallowing. Lord Shiryu, I also want your special training. And me, they can be cute, salty, and warm the bed. Mr. Shiryu, do you still need a girlfriend? I think I can. All the male classmates turned pale and wished to eat Shiryu. However, Shiryu did not hesitate to wave his hand and refuse, sorry, this kind of magic potion is quite precious. I don't have any extra here. Although these female high school students didn't grow up to be ugly, they were not just one level behind the two school beauties, Kazuki and Kazuki, and naturally didn't have any extra thoughts. At this moment, a hint of shyness rose in the hearts of Kashiwagi and Nagi upon hearing Shiyu's refusal. Sure enough, this thing is very precious. He didn't hesitate to give it to us at all. But he has a wife now the two little girls immediately fell into a tangled mind. At this moment, Shiryu suddenly pointed to the glowing or ahead and asked. Captain, what is that shiny thing? Meld looked at Shiryu and suddenly realized. Ah, that's the Grand's Light, and its size is not small, it's really rare. However, this thing doesn't have any special effect, it's just that its brilliant luster is more popular among noblewomen and young ladies, and it's usually used to process into jewelry for gifts. It's said that it even made it into the top three on the proposal list, but it's not very valuable for us warriors, after all, it can't enhance our strength. 
After listening to it, Xiangji's eyes lit up. Proposal. It's really beautiful. The person on the side also nodded. The two of them blushed and looked intoxicated by the beautiful ore. They even unconsciously glanced at Shiryu. This made Kashiyama Daisuki, who had been watching his goddess, grit his teeth in hatred, he looked at the ore and his eyes lit up, then suddenly crawled towards it, since you like Xiangji so much, let's recycle it. Captain Meld was shocked at the sight. Hey! Don't act on your own, we haven't confirmed if it's safe yet. However, Huishan ignored it and blindly climbed up to the place where the ore was located. When Shi Yu saw this, the corner of his mouth slightly raised, revealing a wicked smile. After all, it's just a little kid, it's really too impulsive. The next second, a member of the knights was stunned with a trap detector. Not good, Captain. It's a trap. This grands or is a trap. However, by this time the warning was already too late, the huge magic circle quickly enveloped everyone with minerals as its center. P.S. Request monthly pass, with data available, continue to add updates today. Fei Lu's novel, Fei wants you to look good. Chapter 13 Ultimate Shake M. Dakinis You are listening at novelfull.audio Shu Yu turned his head in some surprise, it seems that the sensation caused by myself and Akuya is quite significant, after all, they are two gods who can directly choose their superior profession if Shu Yu hasn't arrived yet, please continue to think, but I saw an expressionless iceberg beauty staring at me. The newcomer is dressed as a female knight, standing at 1.7 meters tall, covered in sturdy forbidden armor all over her body. Her blonde hair and blue eyes add a lot of exotic charm to her. Especially the chest circumference, which cannot even be covered by armor, makes people imagine it at a glance. Please, please make sure to let me join your team. The yelling of the blonde beauty brought back the stunned Shiryu to his senses, Shiryu looked at her suspiciously with a strange expression on his face and asked, Are you? Who would have thought that the beautiful woman would excitedly grab Shiryu's arm? When you came just now, I saw that you were treating your companion so rudely, that shameful restraint and merciless way of blocking her mouth. The voice of the female knight had just finished, the adventurers around suddenly became extremely dangerous in their eyes. Sure Yu's scalp tingled and he quickly defended loudly. Hey! Hey! Don't say such misleading things, I'm just trying to prevent this guy from running away and bring her to change jobs. Dakinis, it's you. The female knight across from her was indeed instantly flushed, and excitedly pressed her stunning face against her. Ah, do you really know my name? All of this was planned by you in advance, right? Imprisoning innocent girls for cruel abuse. If she escapes, she will suffer even more heinous punishment. Ah. I really want to suffer like that too. Sure you. Dot. That's right, the person in front of me is the strongest female knight in the protagonist group, Dakinis, who is known for her flesh shield and shaking M. When she saw Akuya tied up in the adventurer guild, she swore to join the team of Ziyu. At this moment, Shiryu saw the adventurers around him with abnormal expressions and immediately realized why the protagonist and the true protagonist firmly rejected the angelic face and devil figure of the female knight from the beginning. It's completely because this guy started the illness, regardless of the occasion, extreme social death. And at this moment, Dakinis seemed to realize that she had said the wrong thing, immediately, he resumed his cold and stern demeanor and spoke sternly to Shiryu. Cough cough, no, I was wrong. What I meant was that this girl had encountered such a thing at such a young age, and as a knight, I couldn't sit idly by. Moreover, I am a knight superior profession, the cross knight, and I should meet your recruitment requirements. Although she controlled her expression, the silly expression on her face made sure you unable to bear it, especially the constant swallowing of saliva. It was obvious that Dakinis was about to lose her patience at this moment. Sure Yu's eyes became increasingly strange as he looked at the adventurers around him, he grabbed the female knight and ran towards the door, ah has it started yet? Is it so rough? 
I can't force it anymore. No. I won't give in. Woo woo. Shu Yu casually found a piece of torn cloth and stuffed it into her mouth, Rao was mentally prepared, but was still embarrassed by this guy's tiger wolf words to the point of wanting to dig a hole in the ground. And more importantly, this guy not only did not resist his behavior, but also turned red and tightened his legs. This greatly shocked Shiryu, who grew up under the red flag. In the anime, Dakinis indeed restrained in order to pass the review. Upon seeing this, Akuya behind her quickly followed up. Hey! Hey! Wait for me! It was only when Shiryu led numerous Warcraft beasts to a remote corner that he finally threw Daphne to the ground. Dakinis, who had fallen and squatted, let out a seductive moan. She looked at the terrifying hellhound and devil spider behind Shiryu, not only without any fear, but also with a face full of abnormal ecstasy. She pulled off the rag from her mouth and shouted excitedly at Shiryu. Do you want these? Ah! Even if you get my body. Insulting me with these monsters, my soul as a knight will not fall. Shiryu took a cold breath as he looked at Takinis, who was already wearing a coarse and flowing kara, Inima. Fortunately, she was pulled out. If she had been falsely accused by her in the Adventurer Guild, she might have carried the same title as Scum and Truth as a future warrior. Well, please calm down first. Come on. You demon, don't expect me to give in. I'm ready. No, I'm ready to go to war with you. Sure you hadn't finished speaking yet, but he saw that Dakinis across from him had voluntarily removed her armor, the desire that appeared in his eyes seemed to be burning out Shiryu. The whole person stared at Shiryu as if in heat. Every part of my body is revealing a meaning. Come on, face me head dot on. Three things to do when reading. Read, collect, and reward. Chris. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Goddess Eris Clone. Chapter 21. Returning to the base, Boss Wizzy. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. The problem of inconsistent rules that Sure You is most concerned about has been completely resolved. He was originally extremely worried that the adventure card of Blessing a Better World would not be able to swipe the wild monsters in the world of Leisure Farmhouse in another world. Even after killing the prickly wild boar in the Death Forest, it still gives itself a lot of experience upgrades, this means that one can also enhance their strength through dungeons or monsters from other worlds. Even he can allow his forces to improve their level and enhance their strength by registering adventurers. In this way, NPCs with already constant strength can be improved through a game-like approach. At this moment, Sure you felt that the protagonist aura of the two worlds he randomly came across was really amazing. What he needs to do now is to control these two worlds as quickly as possible in his own hands. In this way, he can monopolize the ability of this bug level group to cheat. And at this moment, Sure you turned his head to look at Viz behind him and asked. Wizzy, what is your current level? Viz looked at himself with a hint of embarrassment. After transitioning to a witch, I no longer had any adventurer card divisions, but before transitioning to a witch, I had already reached level 100 of full experience. After hearing this, Shiryu was shocked, although I knew she was strong, I didn't expect her to be so strong. I had already reached full level before reincarnating as a witch demon, it is obvious that she has exceeded the upper limit level of this world. Just think about it. Viz was reincarnated with the help of the Duke of Hell, Banier. He is a demon located in Hell, and just a clay clone can bear the existence of the demon army cadres. He is a natural enemy opposed to the goddess race. With his help, Viz was reincarnated into a witch, and his strength exceeded the limit, making it less abrupt. In Shi Yu's view, adventurers in this world are like game players, with a maximum level of 100 in the game. Above the full level, there are many gods and demons who possess power similar to GM privileges. And it was through a portion of this power that Wizzy gained such formidable strength. And Akuya herself is a GM, so she can easily use her divine power to suppress and even purify Viz. However, 
her authority can only grant bonuses to a single enemy of the undead type. And sure use universal agricultural tools should also be considered one of the GM permissions, however, at this moment, he still doesn't know how strong an attack this replica of his divine gun can cause. If judged according to this logic, at this point, sure you should be at a level greater than 100 and less than the position between the gods. However, due to disciplinary reasons, resulting in him being only an ordinary person in terms of strength, apart from his attack power. If sure you only inherits the protagonist aura of a leisure farmer in a different world, he will always be an ordinary person with the strongest attack. Because in order to prevent the balance from being disrupted, the Lord God did not give him the magic to fit into a different world. But now the world rules have merged with each other, which has completely filled the only gap for Shiryu. All we need to do now is fight monsters, upgrade, learn skills, and become invincible in the world. Shiryu glanced at Viz again, he never expected that this guy would be a super strong person, and this also means that Viz's strength may be even stronger than the naked and Zergong. Of course, there are too many props and equipment in the hands of that guy Anzi, especially those world.class props, which are of the same level as the artifacts bestowed upon warriors by the goddess in A Better World. Viz's decision to take on Anz alone may only be to deliver food. Sure you sighed and said, damn it, you're still poor. He immediately turned his head to look at Chris, he remembered that the reason why the goddess Eris appeared in the lower realm seemed to have another purpose, which was to specifically recycle these artifacts that were originally distributed to the warriors. No, I have to collect some artifacts myself to save myself from being piled up with equipment by others. Sure you, who had set the general direction, returned to the depths of the forest under the guidance of Xiao Hei and other dogs. With the navigation and deterrence of the Hellhound, there were no accidents along the way. This time on his journey to search for Axel, he traveled back and forth with Akuya for no more than a week as he was riding on a high dot level demon like the Hellwolf. But when they left, they were two people, and when they returned, they had already become six people. As soon as Little Black and Devil Spider returned to their base, they excitedly returned to their exclusive doghouse and tree. Akuya skillfully led everyone into the wooden house that sure you had spent a month building. Hui Hui looked at the warehouse filled with food and was instantly amazed. For her, who has relied on catching crayfish and cicadas to satisfy her hunger since childhood, this is simply heaven. And Dakinis felt the strong aura of monsters around her and was eager to try, feeling that they could definitely make her want to be immortal. Weizi followed Shir Yu with a mournful face and remained steadfast, because besides Akuya, Chris often lost her sanity after seeing her and wanted to purify and kill her. It is obvious that this is because as a goddess, she has a deep dot seated hatred towards the undead and demons. So now, Viz dare not leave Shur Yu's side even a step away, afraid of being secretly purified by two enemy goddesses. Shur Yu also had a headache about it, finally, I had to instruct Xiao Hei and the others to keep an eye on Akuya and Chris. After all, although Little Black is called Hellhound, it belongs to Warcraft and is not classified as undead or demon, and will not be restrained by the goddess race. And their strength is around level 70, so they can still deal with two weakened versions of low-dot-level goddesses. So, time quickly arrived in winter. Fei Lu's novel, Fei wants you to look good.